this slide is the essence of my what I learned in this contest. I started walking the corridor um, uh, up and down and, and just thinking about the how to approach this game and I I just made a few notes writing down very very few words and I did it until I uh, until I couldn't really keep it in my head and I needed someone to to talk into and I, I didn't have any, anyone so I talked to my rubber duck as most programmers do and my rubber duck was very helpful and spent a lot of time helping me and when I when he when he ran out of ideas I had to externalize my thought process even more so I started to make notes in org mode and write um, normal English sentences that described concepts, algorithms, and I could I could we are here it, at point three. I could execute some of them in my head. That was good. But that, the point came when, when I could not. And that was the point when I thought, okay, we need to switch to code. And this is the point where you have to make a big jump. Because this is just a gradual progression from abstract to concrete and low level. And the number of steps you take depends on you and your tools. But normally there is a huge gap between number three and number four. And this is where, where uh, Lisp came in. The jump for me from code to, from notes to code was pretty small and uh, it was a smooth process to, to uh, be, uh, begin programming because Lisp is quite unique in, in among programming languages in the level of abstraction it allows you to, to use. So I felt, I always felt I was limited by myself, by my own ability and by my own incoherent thoughts. And I started out writing very high level code that uh, resembled very much the, the notes I made the, in, in org mode. And I, I just started to, to fill them out, make them a bit more concrete. Sometimes I didn't even run them. But uh, it, they, the code was discarded bec before it ever ran. But it allowed me to think in, uh, in a more formal way. And at some point, it crossed over to executable code. It was pretty high level at, this, at that point, too. And from, by looking at the code base now, you don't see much trace of that, because it got, just got uh, fleshed out. But the point here is that Lisp allows me to make a gradual transition from abstract to, to concrete. And it's also uh, a good language because it can be refactored quickly. And before, without uh, really reading, up, reading all these bullets here, the, The main thing about this uh, that this competition can be viewed as an AI contest, but it can also be viewed as a programming contest, and and it was a question of speed, how quick your development is, how much your tools drag you down, and this is where I where I see that Lisp is just great. It allows me to iterate extremely quick, quickly over ideas. 